Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning, 5.13 a.m. Did it snow? No, it did not. Raining still. It's been raining for days. It's causing congestion. Because I'm full to live in this state with my lungs. <laughs> But I'm a smoker, so I don't really complain. <coughs> and then, you know, I got that cold, and here the cough ensues. So we're having our Christmas dinner today. I'm very excited to have that going. And I'm going to get myself a cup. And the creamer. <laughs> oh boy. There's a lot of different smells when I open that refrigerator. All of them very good. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can smell that. Oh, I can smell that too. Which is fun. I smelled the deviled eggs and I smelled the sausage. <laughs> I didn't get a cup. It's cold in here this morning. It's very cold in here this morning. Ooh. So I only have two dirty dishes in my sink, which is amazing. And I got a sweep and vacuum. Um, and there was, I got to go shopping for uh, some toys for the kids to have. I have, um, there's, I have this one thing, it's like a crush velvet poster, but there's no color on it. So everywhere you would color is white. So it's white picture plus in the crush velvet backing. But I, I have that and it has like three or four little markers that it comes with it. So I thought, ooh, that can go with to the little girl, but I don't have anything for the little boy. And he's like 11. So it's, I think it said he was 11. So I gotta find something. I want to get that dinosaur puzzle. He would love that. But where it exists, or I don't know. Man, I'm I'm shivering. I'm so cold. Let me get my slippers and my bathrobe on. Oh, the bathrobe's right there. I'm gonna put that on. Hang on. <laughs> and put my bathrobe on. Yeah, the only toy I have in here. Oh, I got that play-doh too. I can pull that out of Ezra's. Um, truck, cat dump, dump, dump truck. I could pull that out there and they could play with the Play-Doh and then that coloring thing. I don't know. I think an 11 year old, eh, give or take Play-Doh, I think. But I would still play with it when I was like, that's for sure I love Play-Doh. <laughs> it's hard to understand that other kids don't like it. <laughs> Who doesn't like Play-Doh? Everybody likes Play-Doh. Oh boy, I'm going to be very excited when today is over and get my house back to normal and put all my Christmas decorations away. I'm done, you know, with this massive cooking. Thanksgiving, I think I did, what, 12 or 13 dishes? Also today, 12 or 13 dishes. Which is, I, I mean, it's amazing. I love it, you know, because I didn't have him help me pull this tape up, though. And so I'm, I'm going to clear it all off so we can pull it out, and then I'll get it set up for the meal. Um, yeah, I'm excited. And then, so she said, oh, I watched your truffle video, and they look delicious. I'm excited uh, to come over, and I'll see you. This was yesterday, and she goes, I'll see you tomorrow between 2 and 3, and I'm like, hey, they're coming. <laughs> So, the Old Faithful, we lived here a few years, they moved up from California, and they really don't have friends, um, other than my best friend is his sister, so, per se. I know his brother, his other brother lives up here too, but I'm not going to mention him because he makes me mad because he's a dickhole, but, um, so they go and visit them, you know, which... 
Hopefully you won't let your sister over at your house, but your rich brother and his wife is going to die. Right? What's wrong? She, he's your, she's your sister. Dick. He's, he's a dick. 100%. A-hole. 100% and has never faltered from being a dick. <laughs> nope. Oh, I hope I can make another perfect cup of coffee. It would be amazing. Yesterday, a cup of coffee was perfect. 84's cup of coffee was. Hopefully today's cup of coffee will be. It's looking a little dark, but I think I'll be all right. Go right about there. It's looking good. It's looking right. <laughs> but I took a shower late last night and washed my hair. And so I don't have any eyebrows on and my hair is all kind of frizzy. Um, so I got to do my hair and makeup today. Not, not makeup, just my eyebrows and stuff. I'm not going to do like full bar makeup. <laughs> I try and try and try to do that. It doesn't work. I think I may have achieved a nice cup of coffee. There's a little tiny piece of ground, coffee ground that. You know, some of them do, they just don't melt, which is very odd, you know? Like, why are you not melting? It's probably like a piece of the shell. So it's good. Okay, that's better. Look, it's not very warm, but it is, it's good. It's, we're good. That's a good cup of coffee. Slightly too much cream. But I think that's going to be fine. Yes, that's good. So I still have lots of food prep to do. I took the bacon out of the freezer, so I'm going to make a, a, the sausage caramel, the Coca-Cola caramelizing sausage and bacon together. It's going to be so good. It's going to be delicious. And I'll put some onions and garlic in there and some um, parsley on top maybe. I don't know. But I think it's going to be good. So that and then I'm going to make um, my spin on some prosciutto. Bur prosciutto. They're still all on that burner. I'm going to turn it on again and see if it will get me off of it. So yesterday I had, had this little blue, sh I had this little blue shot glass that sometimes I'll put olive oil in there. And so I had it sitting up here and I wanted to use it. And it's sitting up here. Duh, there's obviously something in it. I pull it up and I'm just like bleh, all over the place. Olive oil all over my stove, burner, cabinet, counter, floor, everywhere. So I'm like, oh man, <laughs> this is sucking. <laughs> We're talking bad. But, um, oh yeah, we still got some burning going on on there. Get that oil burnt off that burner. But I still have some food prep to do. I gotta finish the snack board. I gotta cook the ham and the potatoes and the beans today. I'm gonna make prosciutto, uh, broccoli cheddar, and the rest of the snack. It's gonna be quite the spread. And I got con to go containers to fill them up when I send them out the door. And I, the pies gotta come out of the freezer. Chocolate mousse and banana cream. And um, both of them, both the adults said they would enjoy the banana cream. And then, of course, Curtis, I'm a banana cream. Curtis is a chocolate mousse. And the kids are probably chocolate mousse. But, yeah, so I think there's going to be three chocolate mousse <laughs> and three banana creams. <laughs> so I'm going to take them both out of the freezer. And hopefully, maybe my friend will come. So she's house and dog sitting for a friend out in uh, Seattle. You know, and it, she thought it was going to be further away. I said, no, you know, that sounds like the North Central District. Sure enough, there it was. I 
said, yeah, I knew that street. When you said Charles, I knew exactly what you were talking about. Oh. There was a school up there that I used to drive for. And every once in a great while, I would be coming a different direction to the school and I would have to go up Charles. And Charles is not an easy street to get a 40 foot bus around. There's roundabouts and cars on both sides. But one time, there was a car so close to the corner and you're supposed to park 30 feet back from the corner. Why? So vehicles can fit through. It's not just, oh, we're just going to make it a, a law to bug people. No. So there was a car parked way closer than 30 feet to the corner. And uh, so he was probably maybe eight feet off the corner, I want to say. Eight, ten feet off the corner, not very far. And I had already turned the corner and was one block down the road like you can't foresee things like that so you turn you look you know you gotta you gotta be looking before you turn first of all i got another story to tell you about that oh that was hilarious but so i'm going up charles i'm heading east on charles i need to go up uh, one two three blocks to take a left well the first block has a roundabout and then there's a car right there on the corner and a bus can go either way around a roundabout, however, however they're going to fit. If a bus want, is coming up onto an intersection and there's a roundabout there and the bus needs to take a left, the bus absolutely does not have to go all the way around the roundabout to take a left. They can cut it and take a left legally. So just so you all know that, that is a legal move. And people are like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you really going to tell me how to do my job? Because I've been doing this for 36 years. I don't need anybody on the road telling me how to drive my bus. You know, like, hello. It's, I'm the one in the driver's seat. If something happens, it's on me. Anyway, so I was going up Charles and there was a car there and I couldn't, and I, I, I needed to go straight, but I couldn't make straight because the back of a school bus has a four foot tail swing, tail swing, four feet tail swing. From a dead stop to a all the way turn is a four foot tail swing. Not kidding. So if I were to go, so a car is here, roundabout's here, and I would go up, right? And then I would have to turn around the roundabout. Oh, oh, what's gonna hit the car? The back of my damn bus, because he's 10 feet from the corner instead of 30 like he was supposed to be. So I had to end up taking a right. And at the end of that block, it's a curve. It's, you can only go the one way. It's a, it's a, it's a street that comes, goes down about a block and curves and goes up. That's it. And I struggled to get my bus around that curve because there's cars parked on both sides of the street all the way around the corner. I made it. I got that close sometimes. That close sometimes. Didn't hit, didn't touch nothing, but I made it, and that was, that was a close one. Uh, the other story I wanted to tell you was, um, it was just down the street from this, too. Uh, I was in the Central District, and I was doing my route, and it was um, Take Your Children to Work Day. My daughter was so cute. So the company that I worked for was called Curtis. <laughs> my husband's name was Curtis. <laughs> the only difference was Curtis, the company, only had one S on the end. Curtis, my husband, has two S's on the end. As in, like, the Curtis Candy Company, right? Two S's. My daughter was so cute. So, she had always known that I worked for Curtis, but never actually, I don't think, ever actually saw the buses, right? So, take my kid to work day, and I made arrangements and got it all approved and everything. I wanted to bring my kid to work. And so I did. And we get in the car, we get there. And the first thing she notices, I think my daughter was seven or eight. I think she was eight. Mom, I said, what, honey? She goes, they, they spelled, she's pointing at one of the buses, they spelled Curtis wrong. I said, oh, honey, there's different spellings. And she goes, but it only has one S. Oh, my one S. Oh, yeah. So. She's, then we get in the office and I get my paper, I sign in, everybody says hi to my kid, blah, 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 blah. And she's standing, she takes a 
a black sharpie out of the out of the pin cup of my dispatcher, and she's standing there looking at it. Look down. I talked to her. I said, "Sweetie," she goes, "Yeah." She goes, "I said, what you doing with the sharpie?" And she goes, "Well, I was thinking, Mom, that I could go out and draw a second S on all the buses with a sharpie." I said, "Why? Well, you can't do that." But why not? It's spelled wrong. I said, but it's not spelled wrong. This is a company name, and your dad's is a, a, a name. And so finally got her to give up the ghost about putting the second S on the buses. But, and the story continues on that day with her on my bus. So she's on my bus, and we're going to do my route. We're doing a central district route, because I was a cover driver, got different routes all the time. And, uh, I was going north on Rainer Avenue and I had to take a right and I don't remember the name of the street, but the route, take a right, go up two blocks and pick up kids. So uh, knowing no additional instructions for anything. Normally the driver would write down, hey, don't turn here because blah, 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 right? Or take this street instead because of blah, 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 right? So. And I'm taking a right, so I'm slowing down Rain around and going north, and I've got my blinker on, and I'm watching the traffic, because so, i got to swing out a little bit to make the turn, right? So the road, the, it gets clear, I swing out, I make my turn, and I get one block up the street. No, I had to go three blocks for the kids, three blocks to pick up the kids, right? But I get one block up the street, and it's a street that goes like this, right? So I get one block and I start to go up the next block and at the top of the next block I see this road sign and it says road closed ahead and I'm like what where was that sign down on Rainier Avenue right so I'm like that that couldn't possibly it had to have been I'm thinking okay it's the side street that's closed not this street this street would not be just randomly right you get up there sure enough it's that street so I have no choice because there's no way of backing around one of the arterial streets that I had to pass because cars parked on both sides right there and, and to do it a backwards turn in a 40-foot school bus it's not an easy task you know you, right and I said oh my dear and all the kids are like what what I said I'm gonna have to back this bus up all the way to Rainier Avenue and back out onto Rainier Avenue. Like, don't you think your signage should have been way better than two blocks up, little tiny sign on the side said road closed ahead? And and then right there have it be closed. Not you you don't go ahead and have it closed. No, it's closed right there. So <laughs> I said, hey sweetie, you're you're gonna do more today for me than you ever thought you were. And she goes, what, Mom? And I said, I'm going to need you to go to the back of the bus. And when I stop, I need you to take a serious look to your left, to your right, to your left again. Tell me if it's clear to go. She goes, I said, can you do that for me? And she goes, oh, yeah, Mom, I can do that. So she goes all the way to the back of the bus, sits in the back of the bus. She's sitting on one of the chairs, and she's looking. Okay, Mom, you're good. Yeah, I know I'm good to back up. <laughs> but, yeah, she's like, Hey mom, you're good. <laughs> it was so cute. Um, so I back up, down, back up, down, and I'm at Rainier Avenue and this, whatever this street is, and I need to back around the corner to get back on Rainier Avenue. I said, okay, sweetie, it's time. And she goes, okay, mom. I said, honey, is it, is it clear? And she goes, I think so. And I said, no, you have to you have to be sure, honey. Look, look. And she goes, I said, are any cars coming? She goes, Mom, I don't think so. I think you can go. I think you can go. But she kept back and forth. It was so funny. Her head was just bing, ding, ding, ding. Yeah. So everything, everything was fine. It was clear. She did a great job for me, and I, I love her for that. And... I backed around the corner and everything was fine. But still, where was the sign? Road closed ahead down on Rainier Avenue. Like, ugh. 
there's been quite a bit of tight situations that uh, on a daily our bus we find our buses in and we just have to have the experience and the know-how to get through it without causing any damage to anything and especially the bus or other cars or you know yeah so that was a that was a cute day and I was so proud of her I couldn't wait to go home and tell daddy how proud of her I was I said she helped me it was so good she did so good so yeah almost brings tears to my eyes because she is 27 now just turned day after Christmas, 27, 27 years. My youngest daughter, 27 years, has a kid. I'm a grandma. I just never thought I'd live to be this age. Never in a million years. Not the way I was living my life as a teenager. Never, ever would I thought I would ever even live past 21. <laughs> but then, I became a mother and I did a 360, and I'm very proud of myself for getting out of that life. It was not a good life for me. Okay, well that burner is definitely burned off. Huh, funny, it stayed red the whole time too. You could do that with a pan on it? No. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so that burner should be fine now. I got a lot of things ready to go, so I don't feel stressed to get started this morning. I'm just going to slowly, we're going to clean off this table and get it uh, positioned properly. And I'm wondering, if I put it up against, straight up against here, and if it's out another foot and a half, we'll still have room to walk through. And we also have a circle. It goes in a circle. We have a doorway and a hallway to get in the kitchen as well. But I'm thinking that might be the best way to do it. And then have all the food kind of facing that way and we'll put the plates and then they can come and get their plate and get whatever they want blah, 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 and sit down and everything's fine it's a smorgasbord I am not gonna dish plates I don't do that she dished up our plates which is fine some people do that some people don't I am a, a don't dish let dish yourself here's here's all the food have what you want right um, so and I understand she's got kids and you know, they're on a, a budget. So yeah, dishing up the food so she can have a certain amount of leftovers for whatever she planned. Absolutely. Good Lord, right? Well, that's my morning coffee story for today. What am I at right now? Okay, I'll tell one more quick story about my daughter. Um, she, when she was three or four, she had, we had this, uh, we had received a bunch of clothes from a friend and they were Oshkosh Bagosh jean bell bottoms and they were just cute as can be, slightly large for her, right? We'd put them on her anyways. Like, yeah, you'll grow into those. Those are cute pants, right? So she had three or four pairs. So one day she was pulling up her pants and pulling up her pants and pulling up her pants and getting it frustrated. And I said, thought to myself, honey, you know, I got that little white belt in my closet now. I think I can fix her problem. <laughs> so I said, sweetie, I'll be right back. I got something for you. So I brought it out. Obviously it was too long. So I cut it down and poked new holes in it and pulled her by her belt loops because that's what we did all the time we always pulled her by the belt loops so i pulled her over excuse me and i said okay this is going to fix the problem and i start feeding the belt through and i'm looking at it and feeding the belt through and you could literally see the light bulb go up Look at me. looking at it looking down looking at it. well that's what dems are for <laughs> is that it's one of my favorite memories that's what them's are for. You could see the light bulb. Oh, I, and she's talking about the belt loops. She thought they were to pull her to us. But no, they, they're there to hold the belt. That's what them's are for. It is so cute. One of her cutest statements of all time. <laughs> so there's that little bit. I hope that put a smile on your face because it sure has me. It's one of my fondest memories. 
Um, that was so adorable. Oh my God. When you see that light bulb go off on her, you see it. You physically can see it in her eyes, her facial expression. And there's a light like right here going, ba -ba. <laughs> not really, but you know. All right. Thank you for joining me for morning coffee, everybody. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and uh, stay safe out there and please stay warm. Oh my goodness.